the child is. You just person. said that a child benefits from I, time I, with I, the I father. I didn't say a father. I said a father figure. Oh. No, no, no. Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Meet Pope. Today I found something kind of weird, interesting. You guys know I'm a father, father of two, Gucci with my wife, life is amazing, right? But I was watching the lead attorney. He made a reaction about being a father and why it's important. And this lady has a very interesting take because she's saying the court system kept asking her, to validate herself to prove that she is a qualified woman that doesn't have to give her paternity leave away. She didn't want equal. She wanted everything for herself. But the court kept asking her, well, you need to prove you got everything Gucci. But she was offended because they weren't asking the man. Look at this. <clears throat> Courts wanted you to do 50-50. Yeah. Okay, yes. but you didn't. You didn't want to do fifty-fifty. You wanted, no. okay, and you felt like because the courts wanted fifty-fifty, and you didn't want fifty-fifty. You wanted to live with your child. You felt like you were punished. Yes, I do feel like I was punished overall because it felt like it was. I had to fight harder to prove to to prove to like in a sense of like disprove what he says about me, but also to push that I'm the best person. I'm the best person. I'm the best person. And well, I think let, that's let, really let me just hard. Ask, wait, wait, wait. Let me just let me let me jump in for a second. Why should you not have to prove that you are the best person? <laughs> right? I assume that this is your child. Half your half half of your DNA is in this child, right? Yes. But half of his DNA is in this child, right? Yes. Half of your chromosomes, half of his chromosomes. Why should you not have to prove that you are the best parent if you want this child to live with you the majority of the time? Why That's a very good point. Why? Why don't you have to prove you're a good person? If you just want to keep the baby for yourself lady it's all about equality and this is equality both have to prove who is the best you can't say i have more feelings so i understand my kids better you wanted men less macho they're less macho now equality why shouldn't you prove that why is that not why is that not rational to say hey you need to prove this stuff I think it's all rational because for nine months, I was the person that took care of the child. I was, you know, I provided my body for this child. Are you, when you say, wait, 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 hold up now. Victim blaming. You say the nine months, are you talking about the nine months pregnancy when the child was inside of you? I, I provided that, like, cause I, you know, I chose to have this child. I chose to take care of this child. I did not want, I did not really want to be with this person anymore. I wanted my child and I wanted to move forward with my life. I wanted my child. Hey. Do you guys want to see more family stuff like that? Mama, Papa. This is what I enjoy. I like being a father. I spend so much time with my kids that even men without kids treat me like a princess. Like, yo, you first, man. Yo. But when I see this and you say my baby, I'm like, okay. I guess you still don't want to prove you're qualified. You know, and the fact of the matter is that I took off work to take care of this child, you know, be it going to um, your doctor's appointments, all the necessary things. The child came out healthy, came out full term, all these things. I did all of the things I needed to do. Okay. The proof is in the pudding with the child. It isn't like I had a record of, oh, you did, you were a bad person, you had these type of records or anything like that. That's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes it feels like you're always having to, like, have to fight harder. And this, and then also, I think for me in this situation, I feel really bad for the guy because I could only imagine. Wait, 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 wait. I do. Like, you so, feel bad. No, literally. Can you let me finish? I just want to do you, hey, I, But you're contradicting yourself. So I just want to make sure that everybody's following what you're talking about. Go on. Right? You know, because I want you to, I want to hear what you have to say, but you know, there are 4,000 people in here. So we need to kind of figure out what you're talking about. Okay. You're saying, okay. If the child is half of yours and half his, do you think that just automatically because of these nine months that you're talking about, that the mother should be given the child and the father should have visitation because of these special nine months when your body carried the child? You think you should get an advantage because of these nine months you kept mentioning? Yes, I do believe that there should be an advantage. Whoa! <laughs> no, no, okay. No, 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 no. I, I, I respect you. I understand, but hey, because if this is true, your logic, the logic would also apply to a man that has a job, made a huge business, entrepreneur and everything, and they would say, my business, my choice, it's my freaking money, why would you want to take half? 
right? Or am I just talking delusional stuff with my gangster English? I do. <laughs> because at the end of the day, if he wanted to be a part of those moments, he could have came to those doctor appointments just as much as I did. He could have been a part of those things. Okay. So I just feel like you can't say, you can't give me, you can't give me my credit for what I do, you know, when the other person is absent during those time periods. And then when the child's born wants to jump back in and try and get involved. No, that's not right. It's not fair. I do agree with her that if you're not present when the baby is supposed to be born and suddenly you want to be part of it, yes, it is a little, it, it, it's not It's not a faithful action what you're doing. I can't really trust you, so I can't understand why she would say, it's my baby, right? So I give her that. But if it's also true by that standard and by that logic that he didn't provide anything in nine months, why is he now responsible for 18 years? I don't see the logic there, but you would never agree his money, his choice, because you're going to tell him you made the baby. You can't tell me for nine months, I'm going to punish you for 18 years. That doesn't make any sense. And maybe a lot of men go through this situation because it's an accidental baby. I get it. Once the baby comes, something does click. If you don't want to respect somebody that has an epiphany within nine months, hey, Cut almost everybody out of your life. Trust me. Yeah. What ended up happening with your case? Did he end up getting 50-50 or did he end up no. getting a... So you ended up winning, right? Yeah, I ended up winning. So you ended up winning by showing your damn report card in your... It was more <laughs> things than that. That was the first instance, but... Let me, do, let me just back up here. Why do you think it is that mothers, because mothers' bodies naturally carry children for nine months, why do you think that because of, of mothers carrying these children for nine months, they should automatically be given custody and father should automatically be given visitation. Well, I think, well, I, I, like I said before, it's about the involvement. If you want no, to you be a said it was about that. You said it was about the nine months. It's nine months. But I said also, I did say that could have been involved in, the, in, the, in these things. And also the proof is in the pudding. Like if like, I'm a bad person, I don't go to my, you know, if I'm a bad mother, you're not going to go to your doctor's appointments when you're supposed to. Right. So you mentioned about providing for yourself and, and doing all this. Were, were, I mean, were you providing for yourself or did you have interest? Like who was paying all of these bills for you at 18? I was work. I was working at a real estate, real estate, you know, big warehouse shop from the time I was 16, and I had my way up to supervisory. So I had, I was making a nice amount of money. I had a nice place. Okay. And I was, I, um, I rented a basement. So it was, I had enough, you know, things going for me in that right direction, and I was also enrolled in school. You were upset that he would not attend these prenatal visits with you, but then once, once the baby was born healthy, he wanted 50-50 custody, but you felt like that was unfair because he did not go to the prenatal visits with you. I feel, yeah, I feel it's unfair. Should mm -hmm. there be a rule that fathers who do not go to the prenatal visits do not get 50-50 custody? Yes, because if you're saying that, especially with times now, when you're saying life's or at conception, they should be a part of that life. What about if they can't go because of work? Not all jobs gave you that ability to just go visit. If you apply these laws, in these times when things are going gangster, especially with the, the pandemic? No, I've, you know, I've put in work on this. I've taken sick leave for this. I've taken all these different things. So I don't Let me really... ask you, do, do you think a child needs a father? Yes, I do believe a child needs a father. Does a child benefit from having the father in the child's life? A child does benefit from having a father figure in their life. What I just find weird in this whole freaking situation is that I understand the guy was maybe not the best example to give her confidence that she can trust him i agree with that i just find it weird though that if you're saying by this logic that if he doesn't know immediately that he's going to go to all these visits which usually in my experience as a father were very simple visit the baby is okay bada beam bada boom and i'm like okay you could have just checked that you could have just called me i don't know why i'm there i'm just there for emotional support so if you're with a guy that you had funky funky beam bam boom and you just made the baby you don't have that feeling so it's really hard to get this weird communication even if you're apart and then suddenly you have the baby and you find it weird that he wants to be a part of that situation i'm surprised that she took care of herself though which i have to give it to her but if you're Gucci, you don't need his money, and he's trying to be part of the baby, why would you say, I don't want you anymore, not 
it's my baby. I don't want even to visit. But now you're saying maybe a fart can do some benefit. What you think is you just made a pizza and at the end we're just going to sprinkle some salt. That's the father. It, it feels like that. Because what I just hear you say is me. You know, I did this and I did that and I did this and I did that. I'm, I'm hearing that you're not talking about the goddamn child. What does your <laughs> child need? You keep talking about what you did. But what about your child? Why are you putting you above your child? That's what I can't understand. He, he's been doing court cases for more than 20 years. That's at least what I got from his YouTube, right? But he's always seems to be calm. But when he reacts just like his face right now, <laughs> it's like I can see there is a certain rage that he follows a certain law, but there's not a logic. It's all about something that I want. You're not focused on, on the child because if you focus on the child, you have to accept what the father is trying to provide and maybe in a way that you don't agree with. But the kid might be happy with that. It's a father. You say that your child needs the father, but then because he didn't father, wait, 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 but wait, but, but, but because he didn't show up to the visits, now your child doesn't get those same benefits. Your child gets less time, less valuable time with the father because he didn't show up to your visits. But the child is missing out. I don't feel that the child missed out. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'll just play the video. The child is you just visitors. said that a child benefits from I, time I, with the I father. I didn't say a father, I said a father figure. Oh! No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not gonna do that to me. You're not gonna do that to me. No, no, look at his face. No, I'm going to put this face at the thumbnail. My brain just exploded. No, no, no. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> and I did say about a big Jesus Christ, are you guys listening to this bullshit? So like an uncle. An uncle could be a father figure, right? Yeah. yeah. He, had his, is... he had his uncles. He had my father. And he was able to, you know, move forward in his life. Like, it's not, I don't think that every... Person is so I think I'm done with this video. I give my point. Um, if you guys really like me to cover like daddy issues other than the political stuff and all the TikToks, I I enjoy this too. I like being a father. And I look at many people messing it up and I'm like, damn, you could have solved it in a very different way. Let me give you an advice. Like the video, share, have fun with it. Let me know how much you love it. And you know what? I'll give you a very great tip. Don't make the baby. <laughs> don't make the baby. Don't. Don't. Don't make the baby. Trust me. Make it later. I made my baby in my 30s. I had my life fixed. Don't make the baby. Sixth, 18. Eh. Don't get me wrong. My boss a get a bong. Put the fire na me blonde. Kush hash purple skunk. Creo yo golombichi jam jam. Dur lo que ta verde ta welcome. Dem vida mi a tu iniciativa. Padrai ku indica. Y tambe que es un sativa. Te hinda no que acepta ku eta medicina. Bob D nang di eta causa rebeldia. Ku king. 